I'm John Sigurd Young, mostly a writer, but also produced and directed. In 1978, the phone rang, and on came this voice, and I had little or no idea that for the next 22 years of my life would be overtaken, haunted, harassed by Father Elwood Bud Kaiser. He would sort of reach inside you to try and get whatever it was. It could be just a dialogue about, it could be about Catholicism or faith or what are you believing about world events or it could be about what are you reading or it could be, hey, I want you to write an insight. I wrote one that starred a, an actor named Richard Jordan. He played a professor who loved dialogue and his whole thing was that the world was rational. So there was nothing that was sort of beyond that. So hence, there was no faith, there was no sense of spirituality. In the late 50s and early 60s, there was a wave of European films and filmmakers who etched a cinema of despair. They saw that the post-war world was in trouble, wasn't working. They dramatized the death throes of a culture. These artists were responding not only to what lay outside, but to that great hollow space, that cavity inside. They dismissed the easy way out. God. These men had the courage to say that there is no God. And do you agree with them? What? Where is God? I can't see him. I can't touch him. I can't find him under a microscope. He's the God who never was. Or if he was, he took one look at what he created and what we had done with it, and he puked. To the point where he was sort of refusing when things started to happen that were really not easily explained or beyond explanation. My mother used to drag me to hospitals, Troy. And then we'd go in to see my father. He lay there after his second heart attack, looking a little like you, Troy. Except he, he was awake. I'd spent the first 12 years of my life trying to make him smile, just once. Standing on my head, trying everything. Never. I had to swear to wear a smile on my face till it hurt. Of course, he never did. He died. I loved him. Insight was really interesting because Bud wanted it to not be Catholic with a large C. He wanted to be Catholic with a small C. And I think that's part of what interested Bud, maybe about me, but I'm sure in general, was if you sort of explore darkness and if you're you know, seeking after it and going deeper into it, well, then in a certain way, that's, you're a believer because you're exploring it, and therefore you probably believe that there's something besides darkness. I mean, it was sort of, oh, you're in a tunnel? Well, you know there's going to be light at the end of the tunnel, right? 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 Okay, you're a believer. You know, okay, I got it. Let's talk, you know? John Furia, the president of the Writers Guild for a while, he was very close to Bud. They sort of, if you will, grew up in Hollywood together. He produced Insight for a number of years. I think what Bud saw in John Furia, Bud could sound whatever off of John and get something rational back. And that was important to Bud. And I think that for John, again, probably liked all this sort of alive craziness that was tied to belief. So underneath John's sort of absolute sort of rationality, there was a passion. And I think that passion was much akin to the passion that fueled Bud. Bud Kaiser ended up being part of my life in ways that were goading and uh, irritating and infuriating sometimes, and sometimes, if not blessed, certainly were, you felt like you were reaching after, you know, better or deeper stuff inside yourself. Mm -hmm.